Hello and welcome to channel Unlocks Hub. Today in this video, I'll be showing you how to remove iCloud lock or activation lock permanently on this iPhone 15 green color. This iPhone is currently iCloud activation locked and it is also lost and it is, it is also linked to an Apple ID. It is currently running on an older iOS 17.5.1. I'll be updating it to the latest iOS 17.6.1 and show you how to remove the iCloud lock or activation lock permanently. To watch the video until the end, do not skip any step. We are not available on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, WhatsApp, Telegram or any other social media applications. We are available on this YouTube channel and the email address given in the video description only. So do not contact any fake profiles on Instagram, WhatsApp, Twitter, Telegram or any other social media applications. If you need the packages, copy the email address given in the video description and email us right away. Let's begin the process. Go to the Smart Flash option and go to the Pro Flash option. Now you have to enter DFU mode. Just follow the on-screen instructions to enter DFU mode. The phone failed to enter DFU mode and is restarting. Just wait for it to turn on. If your phone failed to enter the DFU mode, just follow this video. I'll be showing you how to do it using the easy flash method. If your phone enters DFU mode, do watch other videos. We have done multiple videos on how to do it if your phone has entered the DFU mode. So go to the easy flash option and do this method only if your phone fails to enter the DFU mode and it is connected in normal mode only. So here scroll down. And click on the import option which is here let me show you. You can see the import option there. Click on the import option. Select the unlocks hub iPhone 15 IPSW, iOS 17.6 iPhone 15 IPSW, click open. You can see here it says unlocks hub, iOS 17.6.1 iPhone 15 is imported in green color here. If you need the package, copy the email address given in the video description and email us right away. Do note I am not selecting any of these, I am importing the firmware. So make sure to import the firmware and not select any of these. I have selected the retain user data so the Wi-Fi passwords will be saved. Click on flash and click on flash once again. The installation begins. This whole process takes somewhere around 25 minutes. Do not unplug your phone at any point of time. I am using OnePlus USB cable as my PC doesn't support the Apple original C2C type. I have a USB A port on my PC. You can use any good quality C to A type cables if you if your PC doesn't support a C type cable. If you have any doubts or questions, you can ask in the comment section. Don't forget to click on subscribe button and press the bell icon to get notified as soon as we post a new video. If you need the files, you know what to do. Just copy the email address given in the video description and email us right away. We are not available on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Telegram or any other social media applications. We are available on this YouTube channel and the email address given in the video description only. The installation has started, just wait for it to complete. Do not unplug your phone at any point of time. And you can see it says congratulations, retained data flash completed. Just wait for the phone to turn on completely. This is the second stage of installation. Just wait for it to complete. Do not unplug your phone. 
If you have any doubts or questions, you can ask in the comment section. And the phone has finally turned on. Let me set it up quickly and find out if the iCloud lock is present or not. I'll be adding an Apple ID later, you'll have to do the same. It is already logged into Wi-Fi because I had selected the retained data flash. If you select the quick flash mode, everything will be completely erased. And it says welcome to iPhone, let me swipe up and now we are inside this iPhone 15 green. Let me go to settings and you can log in with your own Apple ID and password without any issues. You can log in with your own Apple ID or create a new Apple ID as well. So yes, this is how we remove the iCloud lock or activation lock permanently on an iPhone 15. If you have any doubts or questions, you can ask in the comment section. Hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. Don't forget to click on subscribe button and press the bell icon to get notified as soon as we post a new video. Thank you for watching guys, have a great day, take care, bye bye.